Look at the front where it says Ames real big. Hey everyone, so right now we're in Columbus, Ohio. Kayla's on the phone. I'm outside of the car. I couldn't wait to get here. We're at Value City Department Store and we're being kept company by three cars that just keep like doing random turns in this parking lot, but I don't really care. Maybe they're learning to drive, I don't know, but we're at Value City Department Store. This is a place that went out of business many years ago. I mean, I used to go to the one in Pittsburgh at Northway Mall in Pittsburgh's North Hills in Ross Township. I'd go there all the time. And uh, it wasn't too bad of a store. It was always kind of like run down compared to places like Kmart back in its heyday and even Hills and Ames and stuff. But it wasn't a bad store. Yeah, here's the three cars all together here. Just like, I, I don't know what they're doing. I guess they're practicing driving, but they, pro they chose a pretty bad parking lot because this thing is full of holes. But anyway, we're going to go check it out. I don't know if we're going to be able to get inside or not. I want to give a special shout out and thanks to our friend David who actually told us about this place because we were out here uh, a few weeks ago and we didn't see this place and then he alerted us of it and then our travels were taking us through Columbus and I'm like, I just got to stop by it real quick. Even though we don't have much time, I got to stop by it and check this place out. So what are we waiting for? Let's go up there and look at what we can see. If we can't get inside, that's okay. I got the selfie stick so I can hold the camera up high above the boards and look through the openings in there. So let's go ahead and do it. Yeah, it's not every day you see an abandoned Value City department store. I know there are still a couple of these floating around in Ohio. Value City, if I remember correctly, because I was a kid when they went out of business in Pittsburgh, um, they are from the Columbus area. They were based here. And... A lot of their stores were converted over to Value City Furniture, which you may be familiar with. But as for ones that weren't, well, they were left like this. Many were knocked down and they're gone, but here is one that still hangs on. And as you can see, it's in pretty rough shape. Now, I was told there was a way in in here. I don't know how true that is or where, but I noticed down there that one door says alarm active so i don't want to chance it i doubt that that's real i bet someone just wrote that in the graffiti you know spray paint that they use so i don't know if, how real that is but i'll hold the selfie stick up and show it right through there and see if we can see anything all right let's see what we can see i see black mold I don't know what all you can see in there. I see black mold though. A lot of busted out glass though. A lot of boarded up doors. Let's see if we can see anything through this one. Now keep in mind, I'm holding this probably about four feet above my head, so I can't see anything. I can't see the screen on the, on the camera or anything, so. When I review this video, when I'm editing it, it'll be a, just as much a surprise to me as it is to you right now. <laughs> so, yeah, there's that. We'll take a little walk around that side real quick here, and then we'll go around the other side too, because this place is pretty massive and it's pretty trashed. So, let's go ahead and do that. You see they got that door boarded up there anyway. And this one boarded up here too. I don't know if you can see anything in this doorway or not. We'll hold that up to it and see. I don't know what all you can see in there again, as I had mentioned, but there you go. All right, as we walk along down here, let's see what we got going on. This place has seen better days, man. There is so much garbage everywhere. See, this is the door I was saying. It says alarm active. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, or if someone just wrote that up there being a smart aleck, or what. Look at all this crap. 
a desk, office supplies. Look at the old Phillips mug. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, we'll check that door in just a moment. But yeah, as you can see, here are those picnic tables. Look how warped these things are. Things for your cigarettes. Heart and there's a Santa decoration. <laughs> Heart and look at this one especially. I have no idea what it is either with these same cars just constantly going through the parking lot here. It's so weird. It's just the same ones. That door is busted open, it looks like. Honestly. <laughs> I don't know if that's a way in or not, though. I don't even want to try it just because there's all these people. <laughs> yeah. And then down this way, there's really nothing else to see. You see more picnic tables, though. They're all kind of beat up. Spray paint. Go figure. But yeah, just look at this magnitude of this place. Look how large this place is. It's nuts how large this place is. I could just imagine how bad the mold is inside. I bet it's pretty bad. I wouldn't be shocked. Okay, so off camera, I did check that door. There's no budging on that. I, I, this one just makes me curious. So I bet I bet you can't get in, and I'm honestly not worried about it. It'd be cool, but, you know, I have a respirator. We have what we would need to be protected in here, but I bet this place is just hurt. And yeah, see, it's bolted anyway. You could undo that, I'm sure, if you wanted, but I'm not doing that. <laughs> Whew. A little chilly out here. But yeah, we'll go walk around the other side because there's another doorway down on the other end. And just because we're not familiar with this place and the same car is circling this joint, I'm actually going to go grab the car and I'm going to go take it around that side and continue the video then. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to leave a Wally pin on this side here on this entrance here. I'm going to leave it here in the bushes, like in the rocks and the gravel and stuff too. And I'm going to put it face down because people have said in the past that the sun makes these fades so i'm gonna put a face down in the gravel here and whoever comes out here first and finds it it's yours i'm leaving two of them out here i'm gonna leave one on this side and one on the other side so if you find both leave one for someone else to grab share the love <laughs> so put one over here and hide it i again these cars they must be learning to drive or something i have no idea because it's the same cars over and over it's like a geocache there's your clue the bottle just remember where that bottle is. It's hidden under, under that, here at this entrance, on this side. I love that, man. That is, that is like post-apocalyptic looking. <laughs> I can just imagine how bad the mold is inside. Okay, so here we are on the other side of the store. Where we were was down that way over there. And it's weird, these cars that are here, man, that now they're just acting so shady out here. They could be completely harmless and just learning how to drive, but I, I have no idea. But this one we can see inside of better. I'm at the point, I don't even know if I would feel comfortable trying to go inside of this place. Before we check out the door, too, we'll check out this little garbage area up here, I guess where dumpsters were or whatever. It's like, I'm, I'm thinking maybe it was a cart corral or that's where they had dumpsters, but either way, it's a mess. <laughs> I mean, as you can see, this place got garbage everywhere. I mean, it's a, it's a freaking mess out here. I guess I have no idea what any of these cars are doing. Those two over there, the white van and that accent, they've been driving, circling around. Now they're just sitting there hanging out. Maybe they're learning how to drive. I don't know. Yeah, look at this mess. <laughs> There's no way through that door. <laughs> I ain't climbing over that trying to get in there, but I love that that's, that's a dumpster apparently for everyone. All right, going back along over here. There's a book over here, whatever that book is about. <laughs> like a planner <laughs> okay there's no seeing through those doors either man those are boarded up 
let's take a look through here, through this side. Man, what a walk down memory lane, though. I didn't even know this existed, so thank you, David. I don't know what you can see. In, oh, boy, you can see in there well. Customer service. Bet you if I get on the other side of this door, I can see better. There's graffiti in there, so people were clearly in there. There you go. There's another shot. You can see many people were in there over the days. It's pretty rough looking, too. At least I can finally see a snippet in there. It's not much. It's definitely moldy and nasty looking. And clearly people were in there. Wish we could go in there, but that might not be meant to be. <laughs> Here's an even better shot looking through this little opening in the door here. So you can see where the chain is. <laughs> this is obviously a way in if you have a key to the lock. But there's a really good shot inside of here. You see the whole sales floor. A lot of water damage. Doesn't really look like there's a whole lot to see in there anyway, but it would be cool to go exploring, go through the back rooms, walk around the offices, etc. Kind of like we did at Ames. Check this place out. Good find. Thanks again, David. I really appreciate that. So, obviously, yeah, there's no bothering checking those doors. But a couple bullseyes in the glass. So, I just want to know who got graffiti way up there inside. That's on the inside of the glass. What were they standing on to do that? That's what I want to know. <laughs> anyway, let's take a walk down this way. I like the camera facing the door. <laughs> Every doorway is boarded up, locked up. There's a lock pad right there. <laughs> That's been destroyed. There's a door right here. <laughs> oh, I wonder if that works. Nope. <laughs> Here's the corporate offices door too. That was cool seeing this one. That's wild, man. And I don't think there's a way around the other side or the back, because that's all fenced off anyway. So we ain't going down that way. But as you can see, this place is hurting. It's seen better days. Heck, they tried fencing off the parking lot over there, but that didn't really do us any, like them any good, because we were able to just drive right around it anyway. So all right, we'll check it just real quick, but I doubt it. How amazing would that be if it just went whoop and opened right up? Nope, there's a doorbell in there. <laughs> I'm probably like the only loser that would acknowledge a doorbell <laughs> like that. <laughs> but yeah, this is a crazy place. Maybe on another trip, if we have more time, we come out here, we can get together with uh, our buddy and get inside of this place. That would be awesome, look around, but just not today. So I guess we're gonna take off because these cars circling the parking lot are giving me the creeps. <laughs> Even if they have, like, literally no ill intentions, they might just be learning how to drive. I have no clue. I don't want to find out. <laughs> so, we're going to take off. I will drive around the other side of the building, though, just before we wrap up the video, though. Okay, so by this other doorway, too, I said I would leave another Wally pin, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and put this over in the bushes somewhere, actually. Probably just go ahead and hide it right back here. <laughs> So it's kind of like hide and go seek. <laughs> There's your hint. It's behind the bush. <laughs> like I said, I put them face down too, so the sun doesn't uh, the sun doesn't fade them out. So cool. All right, so here we go onto the other side of the building. As I had mentioned, I would go around. I don't know what all we can see over here. We just got to watch out for these massive craters in the ground. Holy smokes! There are some big ones here. It's hard to do this too without losing. Uh, or without going out of gear or stalling the thing. <laughs> yeah, nothing really to see though over here. 
Unless you like graffiti. Yeah. Weird, this place doesn't want to be fenced off. I know. Well, it looks like it was, and people just moved the gates out of the way and yeah. said, that's all right. So, it's fenced off here at the very end. There's a save a lot cart. That fence looks like that's for something else, so. Like a parking lot, I guess. I don't know, but that's all roped off, too. I'll hop out of the car real quick and just look over the fence and see what we can see. Oh, man, I didn't see all that. I didn't know all that was back here. There's an abandoned car back here. There's all kinds of stuff back here. Holy cow. Wow. Look at the graffiti back here now. Holy cow. Is this all for Value City? I guess it was. Yeah, because I see the sign above that door. All right, I'm glad I came over here. What a mess. Alarm active. <laughs> it might be. You never know. It might be. That or someone's just, like I said, being a smart aleck. <laughs> that looks like that's welded shut, too. I mean, I can't really tell, but from that far away. Oh, it's bolted shut, definitely. Yeah, definitely bolted shut. Yep. Wow. Well, let's keep walking around the back real quick. Kayla's in the car. I don't blame her. <laughs> that door looks like that was broken. Check it out real quick. I don't know what all we'll see, though. That's bolted shut anyway. Man, I guess they really don't want you going in here. Garage door, you could probably try and open it, but I'm not going to. Yeah, that's bolted shut. <laughs> a lot of garage bays here, I guess for a lot of deliveries and whatnot. I can just imagine all the people that did get in here. I bet they had a field day in this place. What's this shopping cart say? Shawstein. Yeah, that's part of this company. If I even said that correctly. <laughs> Here's a door here. Oh, look at that, bolted shut. Yep, see, you could get in through that one if you wanted to unbolt the door. I'm not doing that. <laughs> not supposed to. <laughs> you never know, though. You never know. What if? Nope. <laughs> my luck one will just go, whoop, right in my hand. <laughs> nope, not meant to be. But that's okay. I'll show you that value city department sign too as soon as we get back over the other way there yeah look at this holy cow it's like a whole other world back here there's dumpsters more garage bays that garage door is coming down i didn't expect to see all of this shipping Yeah, look at that car, man. I can't tell, but it kind of looks like a Malibu. Like a 2012-ish. Wow. Yeah, I definitely didn't expect to see all of this. Whoa, what the heck is this? It's like some, oh, some card. I don't know what that's for. It's been there a long time, though. I guess that's the part where they had it fenced off on the other side, though. Wow. Every door is bolted up. <laughs> Keep out video camera active. 
what that one I doubt it <laughs> and plus it said keep out and you see the doors busted open on it so clearly that's a false alarm <laughs> Wow, and you get a peek through that door. I don't know what all you can see in there, but you get a peek through it. It stinks back here too. It smells pretty bad. An opening in the roof. That door doesn't open either. That's probably a good thing, it stinks pretty bad back here okay was probably like what the, where the hell did he go yeah look all that goes all the way back there too wow uh, I don't know if that's a way in or not but do I even want to try at this point jeez what a walk I'm getting there's another bolted door Oh, wait a minute. Yep. People were unscrewing screws from the doors, too. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez, I like to explore, but I don't need to go in there that bad. <laughs> My God, this place is huge. I got a long way back too. Let me look how far I went already. <laughs> that car is way back there. Alarm active. I doubt that. Maybe it was at one point in time. We'll go peek in that opening over there. I like to give you guys thorough videos. Even though it's probably real dangerous back here. <laughs> I'm probably going to get lambasted by some of you guys saying, what were you doing back there alone? You could have been killed, blah, blah, blah. That's why I do it in the middle of the daytime, <laughs> not at night. Not that that makes that big of a difference, I'm sure. Looks like there was a garage door there. Somebody built like a little skating ramp there with that beam. <laughs> a heck of a walk <laughs> this place is monstrous go explore the inside of this place on a mountain bike <laughs> hell even around the back because i couldn't take the car back here because of the fence yeah they got that all boarded up all all kinds of metal and stuff in there that's new graffiti 2020 man birds are flying away look at the barbed wire hanging off the roof what's up with that oh so you can't climb up there <laughs> I mean, people were up there anyway. <laughs> wow. What a mess. What a mess. Yep. There ain't no going in there. <laughs> but at least you got to see everything. Here's the final side. And that's back where the fence was, where we were doing the front of the building. So, you got to see everything. And now I have a gigantic walk back. <laughs> As I had mentioned, though, I will show you the uh, Value City Department store sign above the door right before we get back to the car. Whew. It's a heck of a walk all the way back there. It's good exercise, though. Good cardio. I needed that. <laughs> so, man, I just can't get over that. What a waste. I guess this dumpster's been back here forever, too. Wow. Impressive, impressive building here. That's for sure. Here's that car again. I don't think it's a Malibu anymore. I don't know what it is. Bet it was stolen. Figured why not, I'll show it to you real quick. I don't know what this was. 
BMW, it looks like. Yeah, this was a Beamer. Yeah, this was probably stolen. Stolen and trashed. Yep. Wow, I wonder how long it was sitting here. <laughs> Just for the heck of it, too, I'll get the VIN number. You guys can investigate on it. It's kind of hard to see it, though. I don't know if that's an O or a Q and an 8. They tried covering it up or something fell down there. Looks like a 6 is covered up. It's either a 4 or a 6 covered up by the piece of paper. So, but there you go. My gosh. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. When I see certain graffiti on the walls, that tells me it's my cue to leave. I'm not going to repeat what that says, but my level of uh, trust and how safe I feel here definitely went down. <laughs> so, let's go. <laughs> but... Oh man, this was cool. I'm glad I at least got to see it. I did it live and I'm getting the hell out of here. <laughs> I can see the Z. It's way down there. Way down there. Like, wait, right there somewhere. <laughs> I see the nose of it. Kayla's sitting in there. Door's locked. You know, but yeah, just real quick, I'll show you that um, department store sign like I had promised. And we're gone. <laughs> yeah, there's that card again. I might have showed that to you when we were walking by, but cool stuff. Awesome. Can you see anything through this window? A hallway and a phone. Nothing else. All right. Okay, well, that's that. I love seeing that cart. U.S. mail. <laughs> Man, there's a lot of trash back here. But okay, that's right. There's even an RV that's abandoned, looks like. My gosh. The stories this place can tell. Whew, all right, well, that was one of the weirder explorations we've done. Even though I couldn't get inside, we could see inside pretty well through the cracks in the windows and the doors, etc. But that is a weird one with these cars. They're probably, like we were both saying, just learning how to drive, but it's so weird because they drive around, then they stop for a minute, and they hang out, and they watch what we're doing, and I watch what they're doing. Then they just start driving around, and the one car just, like, started speeding through the parking lot, which I thought was really bizarre. So, and then he stopped, and then was driving normal again. I have no clue. And if they're learning to drive, like, I'm seeing these two that keep following each other. I'd like to know why they keep hitting the biggest potholes in the parking lot. Because that, that, you're obviously not doing the greatest job. <laughs> it was cool. I, this was, for me, was like something I really wanted to see. And like I said, if we have time next time to go check it out inside. If our buddy can meet up with us. If we have more time, that would be cool. If not, well, sometimes that just happens. But, man, I would like to walk around in there. But this place looks sketchy as hell. <laughs> but... Meanwhile, it's probably just fine. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel for more content. And with that said, take care. Stay awesome, everybody. Have a camera. Let's just stay. And we'll see you later. Bye, everyone. Bye.